Daybreak cracks like whips and rumbles like mills. Hard work wakes to find soreness in bed with him. The truth lies in the brief purse of the lips, the whites of the eyes and the clouds of cotton. There are things that need to be said. Running on mechanical needles, I'm on point. Sing a sewing machine, one stump foot. Mending tears on historical accounts cause as we jump the razor barbed wire to freedom. I run threads from northwestern spinning jennies through the needle's eye and draw from transatlantic Sunday mornings when we were allowed to rest. Set a little, rub my back and then sat to attach the patches. Dodging the grapevine but still following the pattern, stump foot dancing banjo and percussion on the pedals, I embroider paisley prints and make throws. Dressing comfy sofas, cuddling a cup of Assam tea, see misting up my glasses like sweatshop windows. My break is over, so I go back to work imagining a place free of compulsion's body odour, believing in a consumer society's throwaway culture and dreaming, dreaming of primary education. I roll more thread onto the spool and bobbin, dance with the pedal, rub the balancing wheel, attaching pre-cut fabrics over and over like history repeating itself. But the workmanship is shoddy, the quality is low where not many can afford ethics. Our lust to shop front windows stems from the primal instinct to cover. To cover all what we don't like with brand names and to follow the pattern. Afraid to stand out, put your head down only to be startled as the rich merchant sounds his whistle. We queue up orderly and civilised, expecting meagre shillings and cotton paper banknotes. Expecting evening time because we can now afford something warm. Expecting sleep, rest respite before soreness comes to bed. We watch the sun leave at odds with what it has had to shine through. But this world was never designed to make sense. And for now, for now the whips and the mills are quiet.